So welcome to another tech episode with your host to me 25 and on today's show we are going to talk about Sony Vegas with its crashes, its freezes and its rendering issues and if you need help with any of these errors stick around as we'll show you how to fix all of these problems in Sony Vegas. So to start us off with, we are going to look at all of the possibilities of errors that appear in Sony Vegas and these steps, if you follow them step by step, should fix any issues that you have with Sony Vegas in terms of crashes, freezes and any other rendering problems. So this message was sent to me by so 2 k Gorilla asks when i go to render the render menu freezes when loading templates can you help and i said i'll try and they have asked a question about sony vegas and i'm going to try and fix their problem and hopefully resolve your problem at the same time so let's jump straight into this thing guys so the first step that uh, you should take in order to try and resolve this problem with sony vegas is find the sony vegas application right click on the Sony Vegas application and go down to where it says properties and once you select properties you need to go over to where it says compatibility and under compatibility you'll see run program in compatibility mode and you should check this if you have got Windows 7, Windows 8 or even a Windows Vista machine uh, you should check this and select the according um, operating system of your Windows machine. If you obviously are running a Windows 10 uh, operating system, you don't need to select any of these. So this is only relevant to those who don't run Windows 10 on their system yet. All you do is hit apply and hit OK, and that should be that. That's one issue that should fix with the compatibility issues of Sony Vegas. Uh, step two is to head over to your sony vegas application and launch the application which should run fine uh, at this point and we will be changing some of the preferences uh, on your sony vegas application once it loads up so obviously this is the splash screen of sony vegas as it's referred to and once this boots up we will crack on with this tutorial so now we'll head over to where it says options so options are at the top of the screen just there and what you want to do is click on options we'll go all the way down to where it says preferences and before you hit your mouse key you need to press shift and the CTRL key and then open that tab and uh, once what when you do this it will open up something called the internal side of Sony Vegas which then will allow you to manipulate and change certain settings on the options and what you need to do is uh, you won't be able to find this by eye you'll need to type it in the search uh, bar which is just at the bottom there of the screen and what you want to do is type into that search bar enable multi uh, once you type in enable multi you'll only see two options for you to select from and out of those two options um, one of them is the enable multi rendering option which is set true to true and the secondary one is to do with the stream render which is the one you want to change uh, the one that the, the, the one at the top should say true and true but the one at the bottom should say false and false it might be on your system it is seen as true and true on both of those options and what you want to do is change that to false and false so all you have to do is highlight the area of that tab that you want to change uh, click your mouse button and just type in there false and once you've typed false into there then that will resolve uh, another rendering issue with uh, Sony Vegas and hopefully this should be able to help you uh, with opening up rendering templates as well okay so for step three uh, all you need to do is 
go over to options again and hit the preference tab but this time without holding the shift or CTRL button and this will open up the normal menu and what you want to do is highlight the videos tab area and change the GPU acceleration process uh, mine is set to my GPU which is an Intel um, processor and you want to set yours to, to off because a lot of the issues arise from the NVIDIA processor and if, you're, if yours is selected uh, as NVIDIA I would not be surprised if this is causing you some issues with using Sony Vegas Pro and this actually affects a lot of versions including 11, 12 and 13 so changing your GPU accelerator to off uh, will actually help with templates and rendering issues and once you've made those changes obviously just hit apply and OK and that should resolve that issue so for the final step that I can advise you on is uh, we'll need to open up a video file of some sort and once you've opened up a video file you just need to head over to um, render as which is under the file menu so once that opens up obviously these are my presets that I have uh, my customized presets this is what I use for YouTube uh, because obviously it says it's for YouTube render so I, that's what I use uh, myself uh, but obviously some people want to use customized templates and what you need to do is you click on the customized templates option now after all the changes that we have made on Sony Vegas this should work fine and you just need to go down to where it says encode mode and under encode mode you need to make sure that you select render using CPU only and ignore the other two options that are there and once you've obviously selected GPU only all you need to do is hit OK and that will save everything in your settings so then when it comes to you using rendering customized templates they should work fine without any issues I hope this has been helpful to you guys please make sure if the video was helpful to hit a like and don't forget if you haven't done so already smash that subscribe button in order to get more updates on videos just like this one so this has been your host to meme 25 peace